All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to solve a pretty crazy integral, namely the integral from zero to one of one over one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, etc., etc. So a pretty crazy infinite integral. But it turns out you'll see this integral isn't crazy at all because if x is between zero and one, this just becomes a geometric series. So the integral from zero to one of one over one minus x, dx, which is just the integral from zero to one of one minus x dx, but all this becomes is just the area of the triangle under one minus x. Okay, so in other words, the area of the triangle with base one and height one, and that just becomes one half times one times one. And that's one half. So you see sometimes things seem complicated, but they aren't. But now, of course, you may ask, what if x is not between 0 and 1? Well, between minus 1 and 1, the same technique works. So you can just use that. If x is bigger than 1, then at every point, this is actually infinity, the denominator. So 1 over infinity is 0. So after a while, the integral just becomes stable, maybe like that. And if x is less than minus 1, I might be wrong, but even if this series on the bottom diverges, I think you're just taking 1 over bigger and bigger number, so I think also less than minus 1, uh, you also get this is integral is 0. So uh, it's really between 0 and 1 that you get some interesting behavior. And another thing I wanted to say, what if you forget about this one and you do the integral from, uh, from 0 to 1 of 1 over x times this, well then you get some interesting behavior because notice this is the same thing as the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x times 1 plus x plus x squared plus dot 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 dx and this becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x times 1 over 1 minus x, because this is the geometric series, dx, and this becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x over x, dx, which is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x minus 1 dx, with antiderivative ln of absolute value of x minus x, from 0 to 1, but at 1, this becomes minus 1, I believe, and then you get minus, pretty much minus infinity, plus 0, and so in the end, this integral diverges. So it's interesting, even if you remove this little minus 1, suddenly this integral goes awry. Uh, all right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.